Hello, my name is Brett. I'm an architect and I'd like to tell you a bit about how to become an architect and what's involved. First of all, it's a fairly long process in getting qualified as an architect and for anyone considering being an architect, I would say that you need commitment and a real interest in what you're doing to finally achieve your goal of becoming an architect. A university will want to see a portfolio of your work and that might be school work, your artwork from school or similar, something that you can put together to present uh, to, to the university and make an application for the course. The course is generally two degrees and over a period of five years. After that there's a, a working period of two years approximately to get qualified as an architect. The interesting thing about being an architect is you are generally a key member of a design team. Design team consists of a quantity surveyor, someone who is quantifying the process, almost like an accountant. There's generally a construction component or construction manager, and you might interface with a number of other um, people like structural engineers, landscape architects, sort of a variety of specialist consultants. But at the end of the day, you can actually look at a building and say, I had a hand in that and feel proud for what you've done. Great. Brett, uh, can you tell me uh, in a little more detail some of the differences between the types of architecture, the retail, the leisure, etc.? Okay. A retail architect would generally um, be concerned with um, a development where a number of shops or um, uh, companies would like to rent space. So it's normally a development, it might be a shopping centre outside of town or it might be in the high street. And depending on the tenants involved, there might be st specific requirements for shop fitting. Actual shops, if you think about shops in your local shopping centre, there will be different sort of feel and effect to each shop. And that shop wants to portray its brand. So it normally involves a lot of lighting, signage, high quality finishes, something to attract shoppers into that shop. So it can be quite an interesting fast track type of sector to work in. Commercial architecture. Um, commercial architecture generally involves space planning of office spaces, but it can be speculative. So you may be designing a number of floors over a high rise building which are exactly the same. Um, residential architecture is more humane in the sense that you're dealing with people's lives, how they live, how they operate in a space. Edu educational architects at the moment in the UK are dealing with um, building schools for the future which is a, a big program that the government are rolling out to deliver good educational facilities throughout the UK. So schools again is a very much um, niche sort of market and a certain skill set invo is involved to actually deliver those type of of buildings.